Radeon RX 6500 XT hasn't even been officially announced, and yet Lenovo had accidentally confirmed that the card will be an option for the Legion T5 gaming system. According to the listing of Legion T5 PC from December 9th, which they've removed already unfortunately, RX 6500 XT will feature 4GB GDDR6 memory and two display connectors, HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 1.48. The listing doesn't really give more details than that for the GPU, but before this, it was said that the card will be featuring Navi24 implementation with 1024 stream processors. A couple days ago, Geekbench released a benchmark of a Lenovo laptop, which features a discrete GPU that's only listed as NVIDIA graphics device. As for now, the final retail name for this card is unknown, but according to IT Home, this would be the upcoming GeForce MX550 entry-level graphics card. And it really is entry-level, as this card only features 2GB memory and 16 compute units, which, if calculated according to the AMP architecture, it's gonna have 2048 CUDA cores. MX550 with Intel Core i7-1260P alongside it, scored 39,124 on Geekbench OpenCL. That's 15% increase in performance compared to the previous MX450 with Intel Core i5 11300H. IT Home also added that Nvidia might be releasing MX550 at CES 2022. It seems that miners now have the option to improve mining performance from their EVGA RTX 3080 Ti LHR graphics card. According to Reddit user Bravo Char, RTX 3080 BIOS have a hidden power limit that will cause the core to downclock during periods of high memory load, like mining or high resolution 3D rendering. Other users have voiced out this issue as well, which EVJ took notice of and issued a fix. Users only have to update the firmware through EVJ's Precision X1 software. And again, according to Bravo Char, their card went from 66 MHz per second to a whopping 80 MHz per second, a gain of 21%. As for other models of RTX 3080 Ti, there isn't any official firmware updates that can fix the power limit issues, but it has been suggested that users can get the updated EVGA RTX 3080 Ti BIOS and flash it onto the non-EVGA 3080 Ti models. But it's very risky, so unless you really know what you're doing, you should not go ahead with it. MSI had just released a tweet teasing their new flagship Meg Z690 godlike motherboard. And the most eye-catching thing about it is that it features a built-in touch panel. The touch panel measures at 3.5 inch, basically the same display size as the original iPhone. The teaser shows a panel display information such as temperatures and clock speeds, as well as features that enables you to adjust CPU clock, safe boot, overclock retry, clear CMOS, and shutdown and restart. Since the panel is connected through a USB Type-C interface, you can remove it and set it up anywhere you want. So for those that are very specific on their system settings, this will be a great tool to get your hands on. And that will be it for this video. If you've managed to get to this point of the video, give yourself a pat on the back and again consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel too if you still haven't done that yet. And hopefully, we'll see you again when we'll cover more tech news. So until then, take care.